is uh, Dennis Kutri after Ebsley nil, Dorking one. Big effort from you, but couldn't quite get over the line. Yeah, I think that's a perfect summary. Yeah, so I think we played a good game. Big effort, amazing team effort. Uh, but if you don't take your chances, you can't win a game of football. As simple as that. I think we had minimum five clear-cut chances. One one minute before half time, one one minute after after half time. Again, open net um, without a goalkeeper and goal. You just need to hit the target. It's a goal. If you don't take your chances, you can't win. As simple as that. Uh, I would say, like at least you need to get a normal draw because the only way possible they can score a goal is with a header and nothing else. Uh, there was not any danger um, from a normal play or whatever. We knew like they put the ball long, they tried to head it and tried to take it from there. And that's exactly how they scored. So it's kind of heartbreaking because that's exactly the only way we said that's the only way how they can score. Um, and they did it. So congratulations to Dorking for the 1-0 win, three points. I'm sitting here frustrated because I think it should be minimum the other way around. Was there anything from the performance after the 6-1 defeat on Saturday? Was there anything from tonight's performance that, that actually pleased you? Yeah, obviously, because you could see like um, we worked harder than the opposition. Yeah, we had um, we had control over the game most most parts of the game. That was much better than Saturday. We were switched on from the first minute. Uh, had good intensity. Intensity. I don't know how often. Uh, Amu in the first half broke, uh, broke through or Chapman in the first and in the second half how often he broke through um, so that was much better than Saturday and um, all together like the team effort much better and sounds a bit bad but we just conceded one goal so that's obviously better as well but we need clean sheets that's what I said it was better than Saturday but still haven't had a clean sheet so we still need to work and work harder uh, but it's definitely much easier to work with the boys after this defeat than after Saturday's defeat because it was just not taking your chances, as simple as that. Obviously, you're missing uh, Dominic Polian uh, with his injury. How is he looking? Is, is he going to be back anytime soon? Yeah, I expect him back soon. So we just need to watch him day by day and then we can make decisions when he's ready. Um, but yeah, you can see we miss him. But we missed him against Rocha as well and we could get a 1-0 win. So I don't like this excuse like, oh yeah, we don't have our strikers and Bingham is not available on Polian and, and, and even Greg Kandel is not available. I don't like these excuses because we have a squad, everyone has to turn up, everyone gets their chances at the moment when everyone else is back fit then we have a team where we can pick from but um, at the moment this is the team we have and if we don't put our chances away we need to work harder to create more chances as simple as that and when we create more chances there will be a goal uh, if not we need to do better in set pieces we have scored a lot of goals already from set pieces this season not the last two games uh, last Tuesday we played uh, scored at walking so we need to rely more on set pieces for example uh, but um, I don't like excuses with oh, this player is not available or this player is not available. I know that, but it doesn't help me. It's not there and I've, I have to find solutions. Um, we created the chances. We need to put them away. If we don't put them away, we try again next Saturday. And uh, maybe if they turn up with a little bit more confidence, then we put them away and um, we score our goals and we win the games. You, you say you've got to find solutions to predominantly goal scoring and, and stopping the opposition from scoring. Do you have the solutions within the squad or is it something where you'd have to look beyond the squad. At the end of the day, you always need to have a look what is available on the market. And uh, I don't want to say too much, but uh, you see other teams are signing strikers at the moment from the National League's house, which wouldn't be an option for us. But is it better to bring someone in which wouldn't help us? Well, we know like we would just do something because we are desperate to do something. Or should it be with a clear head and like objective to say like it is the right fit because it's better than what we got? Or it would be like a challenge where we are not sure if, if they are better or not, just to do something. Uh, we don't like to just action because we have the feeling we need to do something now. If there is a right fit, and that's what I said in preseason already, so this picture never changed regardless if we would have five times um, one or if we have uh, if we got defeats, whatever, the picture was never changing. I said if we find a good striker which can uh, help us, um, then we would make uh, we would do something. And that's similar with the centre half, like Jack Wakeley. Obviously, he played an outstanding uh, first part of the season for us, and he's missing now. And you see it; he's missing. But um, at the end of the day, we have a big squad, and we, as I say, we need to find solutions. And my job is to make the players better. And this takes time. It's not like someone walks through the door and makes you better straight away. We have to work with what we have got, and I'm more than happy to do it because we will improve. 
But at this moment in time, yeah, there are a few things coming together. We're a bit, little bit unlucky with some players. Some other players are not in the best form. Then we are a little bit unlucky on the pitch as well, like we have been today. But I'm the last person now to say like, oh, nah, this is all rubbish and we need to change everything because we picked the squad for a reason. And if there's someone to blame for, it's me and no one else. The players will get better and at one point when they have more confidence and they feel it, uh, they will score their goals and we will be fine. And um, that's, that's the only thing that matters at the moment in time. Although it was a defeat tonight, it felt like the crowd was still with you and you've got a home game against Boreham Wood on Saturday and it's important that the crowd stay with you on Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. So great support again um, on Tuesday night. Uh, you can see that's what the boys need and obviously I know we are all frustrated and the fans are frustrated. I am frustrated because at the end of the day I'm watching our boys playing as well, not just the fans. The only thing what we can do together, the fans and me, is sticking with the players and try to give them as much confidence as, as, as we can. So it doesn't help if we try to be on them and throw them under the bus or whatever because it wouldn't help us at all. So we need to make sure now is the time we arrived in a new league, we had a good start, now we have a tough spell. Now everyone needs to make sure that we that we are helping each other, the boys on the pitch, that they can do a little extra percentage here, a little extra percentage there, and then we will turn it around. And um, I'm, 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 not, I'm not worried in a general picture because they are honest guys, they are honest boys, they want to work hard. And you could see they tried hard for 95 minutes, they never gave up. And it's nothing where I can blame them for, for not doing something or doing something, I don't know, basically every, the basics are not there. They are not doing the right things, they are not tackling, they are not running, whatever. When, when I see the stats <coughs> from the game today, I'm pretty sure this will be maybe one of the top, top five performances just from the stats. A bit unlucky, yeah, it doesn't help at the moment because we need this little bit of luck to get one over the line and then I'm sure if we score one goal, we win this game easily because you could see we were in the box, in the box, in the box, in the box. Um, and uh, then we'll get better. Well, good luck on Saturday and maybe you get the rub of the green to get that goal you need. Cheers.